हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेरी गुड इवनिंग सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर सेशन सो लेट्स हैव अ लुक एग्जैक्टली वेयर वी आर सो नाउ वी आर एग्जैक्टली डूइंग सम फंक्शन विथ मैट प्लॉट लाइब्रेरी एंड वेलकम टू आवर साइबर विद्यापीठ फाउंडेशन so let's start our today's session and uh, yes neha uh, you have a problem so just you can tell me about your problem so today we will start from plotting bars in 3d okay our yes so i will wait uh, more 5 minutes and uh, after that we will start so today uh, we will learn um, about uh, confusion matrix and uh, after that uh, logistic regression then knn algorithm then sub svm that means support vector machines then naive bias classifier then decision tree random forest okay and uh, also perception then okay uh, up to this and uh, we will also uh, create a classification uh, re uh, report that means how could you find precision recall okay uh, from a data set uh, that uh, we will create a data set with uh, a very uh, important uh, function that is iris and uh, you can create data set with some uh, float values uh, with iris okay and after that we will uh, create a column that is target and that is our actual class okay after that we will shuffle it and simply we will split it uh, for train and test okay so yes so whatever is our uh, rest module in matplotlib library so today we just uh, we will we'll create a uh, bars that means yes plotting bars in 3d so how can we do that okay so for plotting bar at first we have to create the x y z and then we have to create the size of bars okay so let's see so yes 53 student only today okay yes so for 3d we already see in our previous class 
yes that is mpl toolkits okay and inside this mpl toolkits we have employer 3d okay yes and from this module we are just importing access 3d yes after that also import um matplot library yes yes as plt and after that we need a style okay so is also from matplot library yes yes so after that now we have to uh, select a style so simply yes style dot use we are using uh, suppose it's nothing but a style that is ggplot okay and after that we have to create a figure okay so just call the figure yes and now we will add a subplot inside this figure okay so as we do in previously so yes add subplot that is our subplot number and our projection is 3d okay because we are plotting bar in 3d so now we will simply uh, assign some value for x y and z but here one thing that i'm coming i'm showing you in my drawing yes yes so why initially my z value will zero okay because if this is my room suppose like this okay suppose this is my room okay with four walls and this is the ground that means floor so if this is floor that represent suppose this is my x and this is my y axis now i want uh, another but from this point okay from this point so that means at first i have to fix my x y uh, 
coordinates okay that means which point i need to the bar okay so suppose for y this is 5 and this is 3 so that means 3 and 5 there i need a point after that i will um, fix my bar's height okay suppose the, uh, its height is um 10 cm okay so at first i will create x y coordinates where my z is equal 0 okay so i think it's clear now look at here yes suppose some random value 1234567891 and 10 yes and my y value y value list suppose 4 3 1 Six five three seven five three seven like this. Okay. Now initially, by z value will zero because at first I have to fix the point where we need a bar. Okay. In uh, in my floor. okay so at first we fix the points with uh, x and y axis where my z will be zero okay and i am creating 10 zero values so i think up to this clear now we have to uh, assign the length or you can say the height of the bar okay so for this suppose and there my x is 0 and also my y is 0 but we have to initialize the height of the z in our next value so yes then value with on because i uh, need a gap from the floor okay and after that yes and my z will be the height of the bar okay so height that is 1 3 some random value yes 2675 yes 10 and 9 so that is also clear now mm, setting the color okay so i am setting the color uh, with a small condition that what is the condition that yes 
so for suppose i in or you can say height in digit so inside uh, all of inside all of this list so there is a simple condition that if my height okay if my height is greater than 5 then give him a color uh, with red okay so just append red and else the color will be blue yes so it's up to this it's okay now we will uh, keep the point uh, all this point inside our bar 3d function so where is our plot? This is our plot. So simply inside our plot, I am calling the bar 3D function. Okay, so this is 3D. So, and inside this 3D function, I'm giving at first the X, Y, and Z, where my z is 0. So it only represents the x, y coordinate to fix our point uh, where the bar will start. Okay, And after that, we are giving uh, one space from the uh, ground of the bar and that is by dx dy and the height of the z okay the height of the bar now my color is is equal color this list that means where the height is greater than 5 this bar will read. Okay. So after that, just I am setting the uh, x axis level, y axis level, and z axis level. Okay. So set x level is my x axis and one is my y level is y axis yes is z axis yes so yes. so already i said the labels for our axis now just simply if we call this function that plot dot show so Yes, it will take some time and bar is ready, but I think some problem is here that no attribute is show. Okay, so 
axis 3d subplot object has no attribute show yes why this error yesterday we already discussed why this type of error can anyone because simply see here our module name is plt and we already uh, create a variable also plt okay so we have to separate them yes this show is coming from this matplot library okay so that's why here is a confusion okay so now if we run yes no error and you can see here is our bar okay and this is our axis yes and our bar uh, size you can see that uh, one is to one whatever we give here okay so up to this this is our uh, uh, simple functions of matplot library and after that we will go uh, for uh, some test and train that is ml machine learning so uh, we at first we will create a new file new python file and inside here uh, we will create uh, some value with uh, the help of iris okay so iris is coming from sklearn model circuit learn okay so let's start yes and after that we will from sklearn dot data sets okay so from sklearn data sets we will import load iris so this is our actually data set okay and for this data set we will see uh, how can we uh, convert this data set into a, uh, a for test and train okay so up to this so some spelling mistake just wait yes this is pipe plot yes now it's okay now our suppose our data is is equal if we call this function load iris so already whatever inside this function it's already loaded inside our data okay so now 
we have to change it into data frame okay so now whatever you done before so pd dot data frame yes and inside it just call data that means this and after that data so i am giving here another name that is this is our data frame so you can understand it so just data frames data okay whatever inside it so now simply if we call data dot hit so here you can see some uh, float values with four column okay so let's visualize the data shape yes it's only 150 row and four column so we um, now we will give a column name okay so for this uh, just one one line code that is our column name will be first one is suppose s length and our second column name is s weight yes after that yes so we can uh, short here that p length and yes So I think after this is clear, and if we want to uh, want to see again the data frame, yes, our column name is already given here. Whatever we change here, okay. So after that, okay. So we need a type. Type means what? So let's go again to our uh, drawing notebook. So we have uh, have to create some type. Type means suppose this is a dog image, and this is a cat image. And also all, this is a, suppose panda. So this is my class, suppose zero. This is my class one, this is my class two. So that means here, class zero, represent that it is a dog and class one represent it is a cat also all class two represent that it is a panda so now suppose think think about one million data set so what is this 1 million? 1 million data set 
mixed with okay mixed with cat dot png doc dot png and panda dot png so that means this is a image so this three type of image uh, inside this one million image so this is suppose a folder okay so inside this folder we have this three type of image so that's why we are using this class that means we are giving a output and according to this output or you can say target okay according to this target we exactly train okay we exactly train the data set and after train okay so already suppose uh, this data set i give a inside the algorithm suppose like knn okay and knn already uh, decide that who is from class 0 class 1 class 2 now if we input uh, another suppose cat dot png a new image so this algorithm will predict as yes this is from class 0 okay so that's why that's why here we have to create one target column and there we will uh, there we will assign three types of data okay so what is the types so we will create a function for this that is iris type yes and i am giving the row so here if just look at here if row target okay is equal zero so a return uh, suppose return it you can give here anything suppose here yes you can give here that yes it is a cat assume that okay and elif for another condition that if my target is is equal one suppose give me that This is it top for your learning purpose i am exactly using this type of cat dog okay so after that if suppose our target target value is is equal to
so it will be a panda exactly for this iris data set that is it is uh, returning iris santosha it is suppose uh, it is virginica okay like this but only for your learning purpose i am giving here the name that if the my target uh, column have a value with zero then it is a cat and if it is one then it is a dog so why this um, function here you will see yes target so i am creating a new column okay yes target and here i am giving the iris type or i can give here yes iris type is is equal so we are simply here using the apply function and i'm calling the function and we are creating a row that means axis will be one okay so our axis is one now if we simply want to visit the head just a second is mm. mm. not defined type yes where is my mistake so one will my target just a second yes so this is not my iris yes now it's okay
target yes just a minute Okay, okay. So I need a exactly module that is model selection. Yes. So we can on also here that import skill and import model selection and according and uh, now i think uh, wait So we have to create a column with our model that is zero, one, two. It will classify it with this uh, name. So just a second, where is our mistake? Okay, so if we restart this kernel, I think some kernel issue. Because I already declared it here. So exactly. Yes, I'm separating this with a different name that is supposed to data. Yes, like this. After that, yes, now it's okay. So exactly where, where is our mistake? Could you identify? So whatever I'm loading, so this uh, is our variable stem and 
uh, this is our new new data frame okay so uh, i done a mistake that uh, i initialize uh, both variable as the same uh, same one so that's why we have a error here because this model selection okay will create uh, suppose here is our target and in, if we want to visit that tail and here you can uh, you can see that there is our target is 2 and that is a panda okay and uh, inside the middle one is also available and one more thing that if now we shuffle this all value in all data frame that is yes tf dot shape so this 150 row if i shuffle it so it will mix with one another okay so how can i shuffle it for this i have to initialize random and after that just simply call thus function that is sample and where the fraction is one and the a random state yes a random state is one but also we want the index so if i shuffle like this just to have a look if i shuffle like this and you will see at first 14th row coming after that 98 after that 75 after that 131 so just if we uh, use a dot with a reset index okay yes a reset index so we can see here the index is already reset but we have a more column whatever our previous index okay so now we have to uh, remove this or or we can do one more thing that inside this x we need so only the only this four column okay and this uh, four columns value is exactly our train set okay so i'm showing you one more thing that if i write like this 20 values so you can see here all of this mixed yes so at first dog then here is a cat here is a again panda so it mixed with uh, one another okay so now i only need this four column and for that initializing like this that i need inside the data frame and data frame columns from so where to where from one to one to four but for this one to four we have to write like this that one two four okay 
So after that, yes, values. So what is this values? That means if it already come uh, as a matrix, okay? So I already discussed about values in Panda session and also all my y is, so if I want to view x, uh, x dot hit, no. So if I want to print x, let's see, yes. So it come only three column. So that means uh, what we learned previously that one to four, that means not, not the four and not the one. So we have to write here two to five. If we write like this, now you can see that yes, yeah, 6.3, 3.3, Yes. So there is also three column. So if I go for six, now you can see our uh, four columns, whatever we need. Okay, this four column. So now my X is ready. And after that, I need the value of this target as Y. Okay. Column and inside it, I'm giving the single value that is five and inside this columns, all the value. So all the value, that means what? Yes, like this. And if we want to check that it is, yes. So this is 2.5, that means this row. So if I, I select the wrong column, yes. Now it's okay. So you can see all our Y value, that means our targeted column, that will classify according to this X value. So what is uh, its mean? That means, let's have a look here. That means, Yes. So if suppose 2.567 and uh, 2.6 is belongs to class one. So according to this 150 row, our classifier uh, will detect this what is the demanding values for I am classified this, it is one, two or zero. Okay. So that's why I need that train value. Suppose there is 150 data. So I have to split it 80% into 20%. So what is our 80% and what is our 20%? That means uh, from 150 data and 150 into 80%, whatever the value comes, this is our uh, data set for train. Okay. Data set for train and according to this trained data set after that we will also test 
the rest 20% data according to whatever our classifier classified. Okay. So at first we have to separate all those data. Okay. So I'm printing here X and I'm printing here Y. Yes. And after that, we will use the unpacking system. Whatever we learned yesterday. And here for X train data set and X test Y train Y test this four. So we need a module here. Uh, we need a module here and that is um, yes. So already I think yes. Train test split that comes from model selection. Okay. So already I think I have, yes, here again I'm cut this. Yes, model selection. So from model selection, so we need this function that is train test split that means this 150 value will split into 80% and 20%. Okay. So our X train is our X value, whatever we print here. Okay. And after that, X test that is our Y value. Okay. And after that, our test size that is our Y train. So it will be, suppose if I give here 0 0.2, that means it will split the data will 80% and 20%. Okay. After that, the random state is suppose four. Yes. So already we done it. So what is the problem? Yes, X is smaller, I think, yes. Yes, now it's done. So now we will fit uh, this value inside our KNN algorithm. So what is it? That means K nearest neighbor algorithm. Okay, so uh, exactly it is a non-parametric supervised learning classifier, okay, which uh, uses uh, proximity to make classification or prediction about the grouping of an uh, individual data point. Okay, so that means category. What is the category? We already see here our categories that is categories dog, categories panda, categories cat. So we have three categories. 
So this Kenin classifier will uh, train this model according to its categories. Okay. So a Kenin classifier has uh, some parameters that is n neighbors then algorithm you can select auto okay then leap size whatever and metric like this but here we will simply only we will use that n neighbors parameter okay so um, at first we have to import this classifier from Skillern and is inside this Skillern there is another model that is Nightbirds. Okay, so easily from Skillern Okay, my tab is not working. Yes, neighbors import capital K, capital N, and yes, you can see here classifier, regretor, transformer. So we need only the classifier. Okay. So after that, We will simply create a variable that is my Kenin classifier, and we will call the function. Yes, and inside this parameter, just we'll give. Yes, neighbor is equal five. Okay. And after that, this, whatever I call this uh, function and, uh, and whatever I store inside this variable, I need to fit it, fit it according to, okay according to our X train and Y train. Okay. So one more thing that if we want to see what is inside our X train, X test, Y train, Y test, we can easily so I'm writing here, so just print X train. Yes, you can see that these four uh, columns value, whatever here, but if you want to uh, see the shape, This is 120. So that means where is the rest 30? Because I already split it into 80 into 20, 80% 80 and 20%. So also all we can see whatever the inside the X test. So just print X test. Yes. So, and if I want to see its shape, you can see that rest 30 is inside it. And what is our Y? 
y is our exactly the target value okay so and also y already split into uh, 120 into 1 1 pin uh, 30 into 1 so you can also see here that yes Y train, oops, yes. Y train dot shape, yes. You can see 120. What is this? This is the category, or you can say the class according to our category. Okay. That means if it is a Suppose if it is a cat, then it is zero. If it is a panda, then it is two. Okay. So, and also you want to, you want to see yes, white taste. Yes, you can see you can see here 120 and 30. So now I am fitting uh, the value of X train and Y train. Why white train? Okay, so there is a question that why white train? Because here we see that suppose what is our first row? Here you can see this is our first row. Okay, so for this value, our target is two. Okay, just remember that class, how classifier is identified. So for this value, our target is two. So if you get some value like this, so just it is a what? It is a panda. And here you can see that it is a dog, but inside this, a lot of difference that this is 6.3 but this is 6 and there is 2.2 and there you can also see that this is 4 and this is 1. So classifier exactly suppose you can say that exactly classifier remember that hot what uh, type uh, uh, what's value it will give me this type of target value. Okay, so it is nothing, just uh, it will store this type of value and uh, according to uh, a data set for train, train data, it will uh, give us the output. That means, give us the class which class belong this well so i am fitting here that's why strain and white train what is our extreme extreme is our this four column and y is our target okay so after fitting, I want to calculate its prediction and here we simply pass the, yes, fit, uh, pass the fit, fitted data and just call the predict 
predict uh, function sorry here is a dot yes like this and yes x test so what is our x test you can see our i uh, see here that our x test is rest 30 so that means already it fitted but after uh, our predict function will calculate for this rest 30 row okay and according to this uh, fit value it will give us some prediction okay so now uh, if we want to see the accuracy uh, score so just simply print like this mm, accuracy yes okay so here i have to uh, import uh, another um, function i'm writing here that from skillern uh, from skillern dot matrix okay matrix import accuracy score now yes accuracy score now we just simply pass here our y value and pass this prediction number um, this prediction variable yes like this so after that if we want to see the uh, accuracy so here we can simply do one more thing that accuracy is equal round so all of we know the round function round function is nothing so it will give us a that means uh, float value. So that means we have to multiply it with 100 because um, point, suppose it give us the 0.97, that means 97%. So if we give uh, multiply with 100 and float after that, uh, it will give us a uh, two float number okay and if we print that accuracy of k in n classifier is like this yes oh my god so you can see that there is no loss data okay so our classifier uh, our classifier give us 100% because uh, you know that this is a simple uh, simple data set but when you go for like this uh, 8 8000 uh, row and 78 columns so we will see our in our next class 
some DOS attack data set. Okay. So in this data set, DOS attack data, uh, data set, uh, some, uh, something like that 80,000 rows, uh, rows and uh, 78 columns. So how, how will we handle this? We will uh, see it in, the, in our next class. So today, just you uh, see with the simple data set, data set, what we create and how can we create the target. Okay. So now we want to uh, classification report. After that, we will plot it inside the confusion matrix. Okay, so just a minute. Okay, okay, just nothing. So here, yes. For classification report, we need um, a module that is uh, import from, yes, like uh, from scalar matrix, yes. And from scalar matrix, I want to import the classification report yes so it's already done now we just print if we print that uh, hey classification report give me a report according to uh, my x test and uh, my prediction okay so just here initialize a function that is yes classification report and inside this parameter just give the y test and whatever i the whatever this prediction okay so that is my knn that means Okay, nearest neighbor classifier prediction. Okay. Now, if I print it, yes. So you can see that all my precision recall is one, one, one. That means uh, we have no loss data. Okay. So this is pretty cool. Exactly, I not expect uh, like this. <laughs> I think uh, if we have some loss, then okay, don't worry. So now we will okay. So we will use some another classification. That's why we have some loss. So some another classifier algorithm, suppose a lot of algorithm is here, that logistic regression, SVM, support vector machine, naive bias classifier. Okay. So one of them, I cho choose, suppose SVM. Okay. So let's, write for SBM, okay? So for SBM, so we simply from, uh, from Escalon dot SBM, we just need the function this is capital sbc yes 
and also all the linear is busy. So we will classify it according to classifier inside support vector machine. And one is SBC and one is linear SBC. Okay. So now, so at first SBC. Okay. So at first, create, take a uh, variable that is SBC classifier inside it call the SBC function after that SBC classifier dot fit so we are going to fit our data so that is our x train and our y train yes oops here is a mistake yes dot after that we will see our prediction so as we see prediction like this and here we just simply pass this variable as we see classifier yes and after that here is a dot prediction okay so predict yes predict function and inside it just pass the test value whatever i want to test okay so now if i want to mm, see the accuracy score just simply accuracy as we see is equals to here again we will use the round function and after that SBC classifier S score CLF okay dot we want the S score okay and here simple just pass the X train and Y train. And we multiply hundred, and we need two more float numbers. Now, if we print, if we print our as we see, there is some um, that means yes. Is we see, yes. Now, here is our small, yes. So now you can see that 96.67. So, yes, here we have some loss. So, if we want to print, print the classification report according to this SBM prediction. So just simply pass the prediction value. Yes, like this. Yes. Now you can see where is our problem that yes, in uh, zero is uh, precision and recall is okay but here is some problem with our class 
one, that means what is our class one? That is doc. So we have some uh, uh, means value with doc that is 91% and also with panda that is and that's recall is uh, 86%. But that's enough. Overall, we have 96% uh, accuracy. So what is this exactly? So if we plot the confusion matrix, so after that, we will see what is exactly, okay, uh, confusion matrix report as. Just a second. So I'm coming. Yes. So, uh, for this, at first, we have to uh, import some kind of function that is one is confusion matrix, one is plot confusion matrix, and uh, yes, I think that's enough. So, yes, from sklearn dot matrix import confusion matrix so this matrix uh, exactly uh, it will uh, clean your confusion okay so when you uh, visualize this type of matrix where is the uh, actual um, wrong data. So, yes, matrix, and we import plot confusion matrix. But at first, we will learn how we can do this without calling this simple function. At first, we will do this only using this plot. Matplotlib, okay. After that, we uh, just one line for this, just pass the uh, value inside its parameter and it will uh, give us the confusion matrix, okay. So yes, I think it's good. Now, simply call this function confusion matrix and inside it pass the uh, pass the white test and also pass the here you can see where it is yes so at first we'll see for knn algorithm after that we will see as uh, for SBC, okay. So at first our KNN, so we will see what is the difference uh, with uh, with this uh, two algorithm, okay. So once I uh, want to uh, say something that every classifier um, is not perfect for every data set. Okay, so here you can see that, yes, here you can see for KNN, our accuracy is 100%, but for SBM, our accuracy is 97 uh, point, or well, what is it? Yes, 96%, okay. Now, if we uh, suppose uh, use decision tree, okay, decision tree also for random forest. So we'll see some difference between all those algorithms, okay. 
so after that we will print uh, print a chart where uh, what is uh, which algorithm give us the highest accuracy okay so just if you do this and you will yes scan in prediction okay just a second yes and you can see this diagonal so what is exactly this diagonal represent okay so just a second So at first, uh, we will see uh, something about uh, this uh, type of uh, matrix inside our drawing box that what is exactly a confusion matrix. Okay. So this first uh, row is our weight. So here is our confusion matrix and here is predicted negative. Okay. So I'm doing like this. Yes. Oops. So this is our predicted negative and one is our predicted positive. So what is it exactly this column will say us that what is our classifier exactly done. So we know that um, suppose we are talking about cats and dogs. So our here it give me some suppose panda so for cats and dogs okay only for do, uh, these two category but here our classifier identify yes that this is negative that means whatever is negative that means without this category, uh, whatever the rest categories, that means suppose like this panda, snake, and, and like this. So our classifier detect that, that, and that's, that this is not cat, this is not dog, this is not, this is not a cat and not a dog, other things, okay. And here is suppose predicted inside this positive section. Uh, and in, inside this, it's catch some data with suppose cat, dog, and something like that. Again, cat, dog. So this four value, it, it's al already our classifier identified. And if we talk about row, so that means this is our actual negative. And this is our actual positive. So if we go here, 
that actually this is negative ps yes, this is not a dog not a cat okay and our classifier also said that yes this is not a cat not a dog that means this is our true negative okay that means it's true okay and there our um, classifier uh, telling us that this is positive okay that means suppose here come uh, elephant that is another category that is elephant but our classifier is telling us that this is uh, a dog okay that is actual negative so this is our false positive okay that means always here you can see inside our svm that yes you can see uh, it uh, could not able to classify it 100% okay so that means some uh, data will uh, give us output with wrong categories okay so this is exactly happening here and there is suppose our classifier and this is our actual positive that means here suppose some cat dog cat or um, and also a dog that means as uh, our classifier is saying that this is not a cat where this is exactly a cat okay so this is also our false negative and this is our true positive because here our a uh, classifier is say, saying that yes this is a dog and also all actually this is a dog okay that means this is our true positive so whatever we just focus where the true is coming that means this diagonal okay so this diagonal is saying us that this is the actual classification okay so whatever inside a confusion matrix or correlation matrix that means this diagonal with represent you the actual values whatever our classifier classified and the nearest boxes will the nearest boxes will uh, suppose tell us that yes it is quite quite true but this is our that is we always ignored this because this is the actual uh, false negative and you can say uh, here you can see that our classifier told us that it is negative where actually it's positive okay so that means here we can see that this diagonal is right of for three categories okay here is 
only two categories, but for three categories, this diagonal is right. No, uh, uh, that means there is no loss inside this Kernin classifier. There is no loss. Yes, there is no loss. So what is its mean that if we plus that 30 plus 10 plus 7, whatever is coming out divided by 30, that means 100%. Okay. So let's check it for SBM classifier. That means simply, yes, pass here the SBM prediction. Yes. And you can see here one is a one one. Okay. So what is it exactly? So this is our matrix is saying that don't be confused. This is our actual uh, true value. And one of uh, the value is uh, uh, detected by classifier that is wrong. Okay. So suppose here you can also see E5 plus 13 plus 10 plus 6. What is it? 29. And if we divide it, okay. If we divide it, the total, total matrix summation, that is 30. So you can see that 96, uh, that means 96 point something. If we multiply it with 100, Yes, you can see 96.67 or something that is there. So, okay. So, also all you can uh, see the how the precision and recall is come that uh, here, look at here. Yes. So recall, that means here you can see row wise, if I divide six from the summation of this row, you can see the 85% that is here. Okay. Because this is our zero, one, two, and you can see at the third row, that means yes, here, that is our recall. Okay, and for here you can also see no. Yes, you can see that for what is our exactly precision that is nothing just total summation of um, that means the actual value divided by total summation of column that is 90 here is a 9 that's why it gives us that 91 okay so i think that uh, pretty i am able to give a sense to all of you. Now, if we plot this, then you will see what is um, exactly happening. So, we can do it uh, with two types. That one is the simple plot confusion matrix you call, or you can uh, write some some more and more codes, okay? 
with our blood okay so just simple after update our uh my after update this uh, scalar matrix okay it's very simple that we can now uh, plot a confusion matrix uh, within a simple uh, function so for this we have to create a variable after that confusion matrix and inside it <clears throat> just pass the values one is whitest another is so what do we want at first we will plotting uh, with this k neighbor classifier that means k n prediction okay according to gain in prediction and our level yes our level is is equal just a second that is our gain in classifier classes okay yes just call the all classes like this and after that we are creating a function that is the display and i want to display confusion matrix display yes this is a capital c and there is no option so just confusion nope so i have to write it yes so we need a, another module uh, okay so that will display us yes skill and and matrix yes matrix just import our confusion matrix display and yes it's come and inside this display function just pass the parameter that is confusion matrix is is equal my this whatever already we i create and display level yes display level is my kenin classifier dot classes okay so now just simply call the display dot plot yes after this just display after this if we call that plot dot show yes i have some mistake where yes here is double comma and also all confusion matrix is not defined why it is not defined already defined here so yes i am again defining 
this is some kernel problem again it is not defined okay just a second yes i have a spelling mistake and knn is not defined yes that is our knn classifier that means clf plot show is not defined okay already there is uh, something but plot show is not defined okay so this is yes i have a mistake that is plt dot show yes now it's clear and uh, that means is the top that is 12 so this is our actual uh, true value that is um, already our classified say that yes this is kept and our also uh, that is actual negative that uh, here exactly that means the high priority that means this value is correct okay that means both of our uh, both of our uh, classifier whatever is detected that is right okay and there is no uh no corrupted value here okay but if we plot it for for our svm whatever we write here that is yes svc prediction so as we see here is also as we see here is also as we see uh, I guess I think it's done and you can see here is a corrupted value okay so that is our true level, all of you know that, and that is our predicted level. So here is a corrupted value, but either all of this is good. So that is our exactly the matrix which uh, clear our confusion that uh, uh, what is our actual uh, predicted value and uh, true value. So here you can see that 0 and 0. So this is 0 and this is 0. So also for class 0, that means our, where it is, that means our cat. So yes, it's detected that yes, it's a cat. Okay. Also, one you can see here one that means yes, this value is right. Okay, and also all two for two, but here is you can see something inside the two, uh, some one that means inside some pandas category or classifier detect. Uh, some value that uh, this is a dog where actually this is a panda okay so that is our corrupted value so after that i think two classifier already we done one is svm and knn now we will go for regression and decision tree and random forest Okay, so just 
okay i think our time is already over but after all we will see some uh, firstly we will see some another classifier so just follow here like from skill learn dot linear regression yes linear model import logistic regression and from sklearn dot linear model no exactly random classifier is come from mm, and the and then oops yes and i'm um, yes random forest classifier and also a gaussian naive bias if you want to classify it so from oops yes classifier from sklearn naive bias okay yes just import a uh, gaussian naive bias and from this is all the classifier okay so decision tree classifier is coming from tree yes yes decision tree classifier also um perception um, percep yes this is perceptron is an algorithm for supervised learning of binary classifier so we can import it from the linear model also yes so this is all the all the is a classification algorithm so you can use it just follow uh, this type of uh, coding model and just change all of it just if you want to uh, suppose regression with logistic regression just change here i'm doing logistic regression and i will call this function logistic regression and uh, here we will give some max iteration parameter that it should not give me any warning and 
after that we'll fit it like this okay already fit now we'll get the prediction like this yes but here is the same uh, yes you have to change all the variable names and the accuracy of logistic regression yes here you have to change yes now, all of it's okay. So, lit, okay. So, regression is not different because, okay, oops. Nave bias, no module is nave bias. Okay, just a second, I'm coming. Just, yes. And also, this is 96.67. But if we go for uh, perceptron, okay, if we go for this classifier, so you will going to be a difference. To be a difference that is now just call the this is yes and we have to call the function a perceptron yes. And after that, we'll fit it. Yes. Now it's okay. Yes, prediction is also okay. Accuracy, accuracy of perceptron. We have also change here yes like this now you can see a lot of difference with this and this so if you use more uh, more of this classifier so uh, somehow you can find the difference between them so I think all of you try, try the, for this project, you don't need any kind of data set, okay? So just, uh, uh, just do it, uh, pause the video and do it uh, from start to end and whatever you will done up to next so i covered here logistic regression perceptron knn classifier and svm so these four after that whatever you are going to do okay let's cut it yes so whatever so I'm correcting it. That means I have some, I think, spelling mistakes. That is, yes, here I'm spelling mistakes. Nape bias. Okay. So now if, yes, now it's done. So one more thing that from Eskilan, And yes, SVM just import linear SBC. Okay.
yes linear is bc and what it didn't uh, so logistic regression is done so a random forest classifier yes already declared gaussian decision tree linear sbc and one is our look at here oops yes skiller dot linear model yes linear model import one more thing that is sgdc sd sgd classifier okay so what is its full form that means stochastic gradient descent okay so this classifier yes and this is your homework and yes i think all i done so i'm writing here that this is your homework okay okay so uh, here i am i'm seeing your comment yes so this is your homework you have to uh, done done it with uh, confusion matrix uh, plotting uh, with this data set whatever you will create by this iris iris data set and after that uh, we will provide a uh, google form and inside this google form you have to submit this five classification algorithm like this okay like this so a notebook uh, just okay okay tonight 100% i will provide provide you so i am stopping here and next day we will discuss about dos data set and we will classify it with a random forest classifier and decision tree classifier okay after that we will um plotting it uh, inside the confusion matrix okay so let's uh, stop here and thank you all students I'm ending the meeting.